Hi, it's Mary at the Paper Turtle. Welcome back to part two of this um, flippy, flappy pocket thingy. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, and I have a confession to make. I did part one probably, I don't know, three, four months ago. <laughs> And I'm just now getting back to part two. Now, you would never know that if I didn't tell you. But um, I'm telling you because if it seems a little bit disjointed from then to now or from part one to part two, that's why. Because I got distracted and then I picked all this up and I put it away. And now I'm getting it back out to get it finished. So hopefully it all flows okay for you. I'm not sure where I left off on video one. I did go back and watch it, <laughs> but that was a couple weeks ago. And that was with the intention of coming right back and, and finishing it up after I watched part one. But again, I got distracted and never got back to it. So I don't really remember how I ended up, but this is where we are. So this is where we're starting from today. I have all the envelopes put together and I have them all covered with um, some kind of scrap of paper. So we have this flip here. Now I've gone through and I've picked out some images and some things that I want to decorate this with. I don't know what I had in mind when I picked them out because it was back then. Um, but that doesn't matter. We'll just go with the flow and use what I have and, um, you know, try to make it look really pretty. I may have to get up and get some things because I'm noticing I don't have any lace trim out here. But if I have to do that, then that's okay too. All right, so we have this little one here with a pocket here. We open it up and we have this one with a pocket here and a pocket up here. We have this one. Um, with the pocket here. I guess I was going to put these on there, which I will do. Maybe we'll start with that since I kind of have that all together. Um, then we have this with a pocket here. This one has a pocket here, pocket here, and the big pocket here. And then depending on how you glue it into your book, you could even have another pocket up there or on one of the sides, however you glue it in. So, I think it went that way. So we're going to decorate. And like I said, I'm going to start with this one simply because I have... I think what I want on here isn't isn't she beautiful I just love that picture so she's gonna be on there but I'm gonna collage underneath her first and I'm not sure how I intended to do this I should probably just jump in and put things wherever I don't know. I had all these ripped up. I guess I must have had something in mind. Although I'm not sure what it was. Now she's going to be in the middle, so she's going to be taking up that middle space. I really only need to do around the edges, right? Have no idea what I intended. I 
think I want more of that music showing like that. I think I want that on top of the picture. Um, I need something here, I think. How about another little piece of music? See, I have the, the little notch there. I guess I could always repunch the notch. Right? Okay, that looks pretty good. I like the flowered ones on top of the picture. I think for some reason that adds a little bit of framing to the picture without overly framing the whole thing if that makes sense okay so actually I can cut tear a piece of this and I want to tear this Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. So I've cleaned off my desk. I don't know if I mentioned that in whatever videos I've posted last. And it's it's staying pretty well cleaned off. I've, I've got a couple of things I've accumulated over there, but um, for the most part, it's staying pretty clean what I, my intentions are always and always have been to clean it off after each, um, each crafting session. And, uh, can I tear that so it works? I don't know. And so that's what I've been trying to do. That, that was a pretty good tear if I say so myself. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, new things, new to me things on YouTube because what I've, what I'm doing and I've, I've kind of done this all along, but I've kind of been ramping it up a little bit more lately is um reading the posts on the junk journal facebook groups a lot of times people will post um something asking for how to do a certain thing or show me your videos on such and such a thing or even who do you follow on on youtube I'm looking for somebody else to follow. And so I save those posts. And then when I have a few minutes, I will open that up and go to those videos that people are posting. And I'm subscribing to them because kind of supporting, you know, a fellow YouTuber and I'd like to go back to their channels and watch their other videos and, you know, so I'm just kind of adding to my, adding to my liked, um, YouTubers. And it's been a lot of fun because I really am, um, learning of new people and oh, what was I going to do? I really am learning about new people, new artists, and um, new techniques and stuff. And what what I want to do is try some of the things that people are putting up there. Because 
I mean, that's the whole point of it, right? Is to learn something new and, and try something new. I think that's what I was going to do. And then maybe... Yeah, I don't want those words on there, I think. So I have this, this, all of these new people that I'm subscribing to and their ideas and their videos, and I just can't get to them. How in the world do you find time to do all of the things that you want to do? Now, I am retired, <laughs> so you would think that I would have the time to do this stuff, but I don't. We, like, for example, this week, I don't know what we did at the beginning of the week, but like yesterday, we spent the whole day pressure washing the house or the front of the house. We only got to the front of the house. We have so much pollen and the pollen gets on the house and it, then it creates um, a green like mold. So we have to pressure wash it and get it off of there. And it's, it's a big job. Our house is kind of set up. Um, not like on stilts or anything, but it is, it's, it's up high. And so, like, our first story is almost the level of a second story. Almost, but not quite. So it's up high. So my husband has to get up on a ladder to do the pressure washing. And um, I was scrubbing. And boy, I, I you know, in a, in a way, I like the physical work because, you know, it helps me stay fit and healthy and um, I certainly like to look at the results of it, but boy, when you're doing it and when you're, when you just finish, it's like you want to die. Um, it's not, it's not quite too hot here. So that's why we're doing it now before it gets too hot. That is not where I wanted to put that, is it? N yes, it is where I wanted to put that. Never mind. It is. I'm good. Um, so we wanted to get out there and get it done before it gets too hot because once it's too hot, we can't. It, it's too much. I don't know how people have outside jobs in Florida. The roofers? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for roofers. I mean, I'm sure that they're used to it after doing it for a while. They, You know, you get acclimated to the, the heat and working in it and stuff, but... Oh, gosh, I feel for them. I could never work outside like that. Or pool boys. <laughs> oh, boy, is that is that um, sexist? <laughs> pool maintenance people. <laughs> it might not be a pool boy, but pool maintenance people. I don't, I don't know how they do it. It's the heat. In Florida is just unbearable in the summertime. Absolutely unbearable. You know, in the north, in the winter, when it's snowing and it's cold, that's when people kind of hibernate in their homes, right? Well, in Florida, and I'm sure in other hot states, um, it's the summertime. And it's almost like not even the heat, it's the humidity. The humidity is what really kills us. Am I going to cover that edge? Yes. Okay. Because I didn't know if I wanted to tear that, but it's going to be covered. So it'll be fine. You know what? I meant to check the time when I started. Okay. Because I don't want to, I really don't want to go over an hour. Um, I know people don't watch the really long videos all the way through. And I want you to see the end of this. So hopefully I can get it done. And then do I have enough on here? 
Is there space? We did not leave enough space. Look at that. I have this teeny tiny little spot right here. That's not going to be enough. Goodness. Um, I do want you to see how this ends. So I'd like to get it done and I want to finish it because if I put this away again, it may never get finished. This is, this is a long project. I will say that, um, it's not a quick project, but I think it's kind of fun. Okay. There we go. All right. Um, I think it's a, it's a fun project. I like the, the end result of it. And do you think I should round the corners on this? Or will it look better? I'm good. I think I'm going to round the corners. Kind of softens it a little bit. Yeah. So I had some things in mind that I was going to chat about while I'm crafting, but now I can't remember what they were. <laughs> It was something I saw somebody else on a video was discussing. What was it? I don't know. And I thought, well, that's that's a good topic to talk about. I don't know what it was. I did see another post on one of the things about hand flapping in videos again. <laughs> it seems to be a major problem for some people. The hand flapping. I don't, and I don't exactly even know what they mean by the hand flapping. Um, I can't imagine that anyone like sits there and just flaps their hands. Some people, when they start a video, they'll say hi. I do it when I end the video. I notice that it's just it just happens. It's not like I have attempted to come up with some signature hand flap or something. I just wave goodbye when I end my videos. Um, and I think that some people say hi when they start their videos, but I don't really see why that would be a problem. Why people hate that so much. It, it's just a second and then they get to doing what they do. So I, I don't, I don't get it. And I don't know. I might be wrong, but I think a lot of times the people that people that complain about the way that people do their videos don't make videos themselves. So they have no idea how, I mean, it's not like super, super difficult, but you want to please people. You want to please your audience. And when you hear people complaining you you pay attention to that because again like I said you want, you want to please your audience but there's so many people like and dislike so many different things that you're not going to please everybody there's always going to be somebody that's going to complain about something it's human nature and so for me even though I know that I've made comments in my videos sometimes about, well, tell me if you like this or if you don't like this or what you want to see or, you know, that type of thing. Yes, of course, you want to please your audience. But I have to just be me. I can't, I can't be fake. I can't put on a show. I'm not an actress. And that's not what I'm here for. 
I decided to make videos just because I thought it would be fun to make videos. So I make videos. Um, do, do I want viewers and subscribers? Well, yeah, you know, it's a validation. It's telling me that, that I'm doing a good job at something, but I've said it before. I'm not doing this as a job. I'm not doing this to make money. And I know that some people are, so it's more important for them. Um, so for me, it's just about the fun. So I'm just, I'm just me. I'm just being me and I'm just having fun at it. If I have to act and be somebody that I'm not, or if, if it becomes a chore, uh, or a job, then I'm not having fun at it anymore and I won't do it anymore. But. I'm just, I am, I'm just having fun with it. All right, so that's her. Now I feel like she needs like something, maybe a flower or something down here in the corner or, ooh, a little bit of lace. I feel like it needs some color. Uh, that's not color and that's too big. I have some things that I had picked out, um, but I don't know. This is turning out very Victorian with all the stuff I picked out. <laughs> I picked out a lot of Victorian type stuff. Um, none of these will work there. Do I want a flower or maybe just this little piece of lace on there? I feel like it's still missing something though. But I'm not sure what. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this lace on there and then I'll come back to I'll come back to it and maybe figure out what I want to add to it. So I do like the lace. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. If I sit here and think about it too much, it's gonna take up way too much time and again I'll never get it done okay so I'm gonna just call the flap done for now and I can come back with some finishing touches okay this one I feel this is very um, vintagey and then this is very bright so maybe I want to tone it down a little bit nope <laughs> that's pretty it's got to go in that direction No, I think I like it better on here. This is from, I had a book of, um, um, what do I, what do you want to call it? It's a Victorian book with pictures from people's Victorian era, uh, Boy, Mary. <laughs> Scrapbooks and autograph books. That's what I'm trying to think of. Holy cow. Um, and this this is one of the pages from one of the autograph books. I wish the kids still did autograph books. I had them when I was a kid. I was in elementary school. I had autograph books. I think I still have them somewhere in my, my stuff. And... Um, you know, you, you, at recess, you take your autograph book out and your friends all sign your autograph books. It's fun. And look back on it years later and you see the silly things that your friends said and, and you remember, you know, you'll see somebody's name and say, oh, I remember her, that type of thing. It kind of like a yearbook, you know, but without the pictures. It's fun. And I think, I have to ask her, but I think my mother still has hers. That would be a treasure. 
I, I'm pretty sure she still has hers, or maybe she just told me about hers. I'm not sure. But hers would have been from the 40s, probably. I'm going to guess. She was born in 1938. So, um, I kind of like that there. I don't, I might have meant to make that into a journaling card. I don't know. Okay, so I have that. Okay, I need something on here. I am going to have to pause you for a minute because I'm going to go get some more images and pictures because these aren't, um, they're not working for me for this. She's pretty. Ooh, she's really pretty there. So is she. Hmm. I like her there. I think I might put her there. Um, I'm going to pause you for just a second. I'm going to go get some images. And I think I'm also going to grab some lace while I am up. So I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I'm back. <laughs> I came back and I pushed the wrong button. So that's okay. I can meld my, my videos together with no problem. All right. So I have labels that I don't know. I just brought them over here. I have flowers and I have people, but I don't know if I want too many more people on here, but I also have, this is a photo album thing and I found these at an estate sale I have a couple this size and then I have a couple a bigger size where is it here a long size and this is what where I keep some of my um, cutouts but I have too many so some of them that are in categories, I've just put in these little envelopes. I hate having more than one system, but it was kind of necessary. Um, okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my Victorian style images, since that seems to be where this is heading. Did I put them in here? Yeah, here they are. All right. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something to go on this purple flowered page. That's very wintry. I don't think I want to go with wintry. I don't think I want this, do I? I don't think it, I think it's too big. Yes, much too big. Isn't that pretty though? And that's artwork which is not Victorian at all. Um, hmm. What am I gonna put on there? I might have to skip that one for the moment and move on because I don't know. Okay, problem with it. <laughs> Once it gets fatter, it doesn't wanna fit in the thing. Okay, I'm going to skip this and move to this because I I want this picture on here. But I think she needs a little bit of something underneath her. Just some matting or something. Like that. That kind of tones it down a bit. 
and maybe I'll put some lace on it. Now, should I tear the edges? I think I will. All right, let me start with this edge here. Now, was I saying something before I interrupted myself? <laughs> I don't know. I hope we don't get too invested in my conversations because I seem to um, start them and stop them. Because I can't think and work at the same time. I can't talk. I can't talk and plan my pages at the same time. Or something like that. Okay, then I'm going to do the top. This is how I uh, determine my size of things that I need. I just lay them down there and see how it works. I don't measure too much. I'm a little bit more precise when it comes to scrapbooking. Um, for some reason, I get a little bit more obsessive about um, having things look just right. I guess maybe you throw in that word junk in junk journal and it makes it okay to not be as perfect. Maybe. Oh, I hope I didn't go over too much on that. Not tearing straight. It'll work. I could go get that Victorian book. I think I still have um, pages in it in case I see something in there that would work. It's in the other room. I like that. That is what I'm going to do. So, I would love to see <clears throat> if you do this, how it comes out. I don't know. I don't know where to tell you to, to put it so I can see it. There's, um,. I'll tell you about the Facebook group that I'm in. I don't know whose Facebook group it is. I don't know who started it or who it belongs to. So I hope they don't mind me putting it out there like this. But it's Junk Journal Junkies on Facebook. And then it, that group, that page is just for showing your journals, like your flip throughs of your journals and stuff. But then it has sister pages. One of the sister pages it has is JJJ Chat, Junk Journal Junkies Chat. Um, and that's where you can pretty much talk about anything and post anything. And that's where I kind of hang out more. I like looking at the flip throughs and stuff on the, the main page, but I don't. I don't really put too much up there. Every once in a while, I might put a link to one of my flip throughs here, but not, not all the time. I don't know why that shyness of putting myself out there, I guess. Um, so mostly I hang out on the JJJ chat group and that's where I get the names to send racks to. And that's where I participate most in conversation. So I don't know, maybe if you, if you are on, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are in that group, you could post your stuff there and I would see it. I don't know. Should we do, a ha no, I don't want to hashtag the paper turtle. That would be a little bit too presumptuous. <laughs> Um, 
I don't know. If you put it in that group, I'll see it because I, I look at that stuff all the time. I probably wouldn't miss it if you just put it out there. Maybe you could do a, a shout out so I know that that's, um, that's what it is. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to round these corners too because I really like how that looks and will be consistent. I'm really at a loss on this page. I'm not sure what to put there. I know you can't really see all the ink on here, but it softens it a little bit, I think, in the corners, like. When I'm done with this, done filming this video, I am going to film um, a haul video. I do have a haul video or enough stuff for a haul video for you. I'm anxious to do that. I haven't done one in a while. Now, I just want you to know that my posting of stuff is usually quite a while after I filmed it. Um, just because it takes so much time to get it ready and to get it uploaded. And like, okay, so I'm finishing this today and then I'm going to film another video. So that takes time. Then I have to take these videos and two more I think that I already have on my camera and I have to upload them to my laptop. Then um, from there, I need to, what do I do from there? Once they're on my laptop, then I have to edit them and uh, format them to go onto YouTube. And that takes a long time. And then, once they're edited and formatted, then I um, have to upload them to YouTube, which also takes time. And I don't have that, that period of time all at once to do that. Like, so when I finish this and I do the other video, this is going to, this will take, you know, what, this might be an hour long video. For me, it'll be longer than an hour if I pause it to go get supplies or whatever. So, you know, we're looking at what, a couple, not a couple hours, but an hour, all right, let's say an hour and a half for an hour long video is what it takes me to film it. My haul video will probably be, hmm, I have quite a bit of stuff, so it could be an hour. Now that one's continuous. I don't have to stop and go get stuff for that. So, all right, so another hour to film my haul video. So that's going to put me in middle to late afternoon. And I can just... I don't know. It takes time is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so my videos don't get put up right away after I film them. I don't know how people do it. I see people that they'll film a video and they'll have it up that afternoon and they put up a video every day. Well, I think what some of them do, I think that they, how does that look? That looks okay there, right? I think what some of them do is they film a series of videos and then do all the editing and everything all at one time. And then 
they that looks kind of nice but I don't know then they upload them all to YouTube at one time and schedule them to uh, they schedule them to post It's, um, it's pretty, but again, I feel like it's missing something. Uh, no, that's just throwing things on there. What about this one? Hmm. I don't know. It needs something else. Something's not, uh, something's not jiving here. You know, that's too much. Too much flowers. Now, how many people do I want to put on here, too? I don't want to put that many people, I don't think. Ugh, I don't know what to do here. All right, let me look. Let me look at my flowers. Let us see what we have. I don't know if you're if you can see what I'm looking through. I hope so. How does that go with the hand? That way? That way? She doesn't go. These are not Victorian looking. So I don't know how well these are going to flow. That one, I don't know what to put on that one. It's not flowers and this one either because they, um, they already have flowers on them. So I don't want to put flowers on them again. This one might... Mm. Oh, oh, what about this one? I like that on there because it goes with this. I'll have to come up with something else for the background, I think. All right, so I'm going to put that one there. Do I need flowers anywhere else? That's already got flowers. That's got flowers. Oh, how about here? Could put something. Does that go? I don't know. I like this, but I might put some journaling paper right there because we want journaling space. That's what it's all about, right? So maybe I'll put some journaling paper on here and then put that there. This one, I kind of like it there. Hmm. Yeah. But again, that's kind of pretty, and I could put maybe a label on there, keep that kind of simple. I think I'll do that. Because that's, I kind of like that. There it goes with the colors and everything. I think. All right, let me just do that. And I'll get back to looking on the other pages. But let me find a little label to go on there. And maybe I'll put some lace on the edge. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'll do that. And will lace look all right on the edge? Where's my lace? Where did I put it? Too much? 
I have another kind of lace here. It's different. It's plainer. Let's try this. No, I don't like that one. All right, I don't I'm, think I'm going to not do the lace right now, but I'll put this over enough so that if I want to put some lace on there, I can. Oh, sorry about that. I just hit my thingy. Oh, wait, I want to ink it first. Well, not showing up too much, but that's all right. I don't know if I'm going to get to making all the cards and things to go in here today, um, but I think that you will get the gist of how to use it and to put, put cards and tags and things in. I'll see what I have for... Um, things that I've already made if I have anything that'll work in here but like the one to go in here is going to be big I don't think I have anything already made that size and you can tuck in here like just like a little sheet of stationery could go in the envelopes you could put um, postcards if you have something like that or a note card um, you know it doesn't have to be like a full-on something that you made it can be of course it can be a mixture of things that you made or something that you have it could be I think I should make like a small pocket somewhere for like um, small ephemera like tickets and stuff I don't know. Let's see if I have a spot somewhere. I'm pretty much covering all these things. Okay, I've left room if I decide to put some um, trim on there. Over here, I'm going to get some, see if I have any right close, so I don't have to go anywhere, some uh, journaling lines on there. thought I had some in here. I have this little bag of um, scraps. All like coffee dyed paper scraps and music paper and just all that kind of stuff. And I thought I had oh darn it. I don't think they're in here. Some journaling paper. That's not big enough. That means I'm going to have to run into the other room and get some journaling paper. That's not big enough. Alright. I'm um, going to put you on pause again and hopefully I'll hit the right button when I come back. And then I'm going to go get journaling paper and I'm going to grab the Victorian book if I still have it in case I need more images. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I think <laughs> I really need to learn what the buttons on my camera mean. Uh, so I picked up a few um, journals. This is what I get my journal paper out of is these types of journals. So I have a green, pink, and just white but it has this trim on it so I'm not sure which one I'll use then I also grabbed these two books this is love letters and in it there's actual letters the replicas of letters but how awesome is that and there's like a bunch of them in here and then there, whoops then there's other um, there's some pictures and stuff in here. So I thought that these were, these were kind of cool things that I can stick in 
to a pocket or something. That's a pretty picture, isn't it? Aren't those awesome? So maybe I'll use one of those in here. Look at this one. No, they even have wax seals on them. I think they're plastic. I don't think they're wax, but now how to get them out of here without destroying them. I'm not sure. I'll have to play around with that a little bit. We may or may not do that today. Um, although I'm tempted here because let's see what this one is. That's not bad. I can always cover that if I'm going to put it in the book or if I'm going to glue it down then it's fine. That's cute. I don't know if I'll use that or not, but it's cute. Okay, so I have that. I grabbed that book. And this is the Victorian book that I was telling you about. Victorian scrapbook. And it's got all kinds of images in it. It's just awesome. You can see I've cut out of it, of course. Um, but there's like, I don't know, so many different things in here. When I got to cutting, I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to cut that because there's something on the other side. And so I only cut out certain stuff, but I have it here if I need to find another image. So that's what the front of it looks like. A Victorian scrapbook. I'll find those in thrift stores. Okay, so I want to do this, and I think I want the pink paper. Yeah. Oh, our days are getting hot. I think I told you that we did. Uh... Well, that didn't, didn't go very straight, did it? We. Um... Yeah, what am I trying to say, Mary? We pressure washed the house yesterday and it wasn't too, too bad. But boy, I'm sitting here. I'm hot right now. Um, my husband is out cleaning the pool, so I have to see later if it's going to be, if the water is warm enough. The water takes a while to to heat up because if we have a cool night, it, it gets cold again. There. And then I'll put this on here. And that's a great little journaling spot, right? I think so. Excuse that noise. That was my husband blowing his nose. <laughs> I remember when when we um when we first met, he had this he has this loud honking uh noise when he blows his nose <laughs> and when we first met i was like what the hell is that <laughs> of course i'm used to it now but now when he does it other people that don't that aren't used to it they kind of look at him like <laughs> oh that's terrible i shouldn't be making fun of my husband <laughs> he wouldn't care he's got a great sense of humor he laughs right along with it he would make some kind of a joke about it, too. <laughs> it's funny. He has for his uh, text message notification on his phone. He has a goat scream. <laughs> if you use, uh, what's it called? Zedge, I think. I think I put too much ink on there. If you use Zedge for your ringtones, it's in there. That's where he got it from. And um, he'll get a text when he's like out in a store or something and his phone will be in his back pocket and 
it screams and it's loud and he has it loud so that he can hear it <laughs> people are so funny because they'll look around and they're like what was that and they're like i don't know it sounds like somebody's screaming <laughs> my husband doesn't say anything he doesn't pull his phone out to check it he just laughs <laughs> and he'll just walk around the store and his pocket will scream <laughs> And people have no idea what it is or where it's coming from. <laughs> it's funny. My notification is, um, sounds like uh, minions and it says, woohoo, text message. <laughs> it's pretty loud too. People get a kick out of it. That goes perfect. Something to look for. In your estate sales is journals just plain old journals look at the paper in them because sometimes the paper in them is gorgeous sometimes it's just plain but sometimes you can find a really pretty one I have a whole stack of journals like that that I tear the paper out of I wish I hadn't inked that so much. Not crazy about it, but it will have to do. Okay, so there's that one. All right, where are we at now? Still have to do something with that. Okay, I have this I was gonna put on here. Do I want something else on there with it, though? I think it needs something. I don't think I want to do another label like this, because that'll be too much the same thing. Um, how about a, some kind of a saying? Let me see what I have here. Um, these are ones that I've cut out of books and magazines, some of them. So maybe there's something in here. Let's see. Filling the air with fragrance? I don't know. I don't know if that's yeah. not quite what I want for the book, this thing, I think. Let's see. Bliss. That's too long. Confidence. All right, there's got to be something in here. Got to be something. These are all um, definitions, but they're too long for this spot. Those aren't, they're not going to work there. Flowers are awakening. Hmm. But come meet me in the garden. I like that. Okay. Got it. I'm probably going to need something else, but. So as I'm cutting out um, images from books, I always look on the, the printed part of the page to see if there's something that will work and it might be just a tiny little phrase 
little cottage in the woods, a hint of upcoming events. They don't have to, you don't have to take them in whatever context they're in in that book. Just take that phrase, we're ready to walk. Um, take that one little phrase, take it out of context and it'll work in, uh, in this, in a new context, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So don't overlook the words on the page. I'm going to just trim this up a little bit. And I can never, I've said it so many times before, I can't cut straight. I wish that there was, I wish I knew a secret to it or something because I feel like my, my cutting is just so juvenile. So I do hope that you are um, getting some crafting done while we're doing this. If you're not uh, doing this particular part project, um, I hope you're doing something that uh, makes you happy. Because if it's not making you happy, you shouldn't be doing it. And I do want to say that um, I appreciate all your comments on my videos. I know I don't always respond to them all. And I apologize for that. It really is just a matter of um, time. But I do read them and I do appreciate them. And it, I, it would kind of make sense that as I'm reading them, I would respond to them, right? But no, um, sometimes it's just a quick... Um, I'm looking for my small glue stick. Sometimes it's just a quick uh, glance at it, and I tell myself I'll get back to it, and then I never do. And and that's that's just me. It has nothing to do with you. I <laughs> I do really do appreciate the comments. I do like seeing them. Um, I love reading them. I, it just makes me feel like um, you know, like this is something that people enjoy. So I do appreciate it, even though I don't say it. <laughs> so when I watch, tell me what you're doing when you watch a video like this, you know, this is a long video and, um, I realize that. So tell me what you're doing while you're watching it. When I have a long video that I'm watching, um, I usually am playing on my phone because I'll watch the video on my laptop and then I have my phone and I'm playing on my phone while I'm watching the video. Or sometimes I'm just paying attention and watching the video, not doing anything else. Okay, so we're getting there, right? Slowly, very slowly, I feel like. Um, all right, if this is going to be the top, I, I need something here kind of eye-catching, something to define the book, to draw somebody in, I guess. No. Those colors are not right. No. I don't know why I pulled those out. Um, so I'm not sure. You know, I have this here that's pretty bright. I'm thinking maybe I should put a label on here. But that's pretty, isn't it? Where would I put that? I don't have any place to put it. No more spots. Maybe there. I like it. Let's show a little bit. It's 
the lady slipper. It brings back such memories for me. Um, I'm going to put it there. My grandparents owned property, um, and a lot of it was wooded. And when I would go visit my grandparents, sometimes my grandmother and I would take a walk in the woods um, in the springtime looking for lady slippers to see if the lady slippers are out yet. We never picked them because you weren't not supposed to pick lady slippers. Um, so we never picked them. But she knew where they grew and um, we'd take a walk in the woods to see if the lady slippers were out yet. I, I just remember that so much. And it, every time I see lady slippers, it makes me think of my grandmother. And um, we don't have lady slippers in Florida. I don't think. I've never seen any. And, and I've been out in the woods. Um, I've never seen any. So I think they don't grow here. And we also don't have violets. Um, or lilacs. Those are all flowers from my growing up years in New England that I miss here in Florida. But some of them have, you know, more sentimental, special meaning to me. We don't have forsythia either. I remember the forsythia in New England. We are not devoid of flowers, though. We do have our share of flowers. Okay. Um, so, where are we? Back to this one. And this one. I could just leave that one. That one is fine. Maybe I'll put some lace on the edge. Let's see. Where's my lace? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll come up with some little thing to put here just to... Will that open up okay if I do that? I think so. All right. That kind of helps cover up the edge of the um, envelope right there. There's, you can see this little piece sticking out here that I didn't uh, didn't glue in the right spot. So this lace will help cover that up. It'll look good there. I don't want to bulk it up too much, but. Um, I do want some texture. You know, the lace gives it a little bit of some good texture, um, some visual interest. Yeah, that's a little better than just the plain side there. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this still. Okay, but I have this that I need to do something with. Oh, I wish that fit on there. That's too bad that that's just a little bit too small. I like this. Where can I put this? Hmm. I need to make more... more pockets <laughs> now that's is that too much what do you think I almost kind of like it I kind of like that there I need a smaller um, 
glue sheet to stick right here so I can don't have to keep moving it. How am I doing on time? Oh gosh, it's been about an hour. Well, I think I don't know what to do here. We're not quite completed, but I think that you get the gist of it and you can complete yours um, to whatever degree you want. And I think I'm just going to see if I have anything in here. This is my basket of unfinished things. Those need to go somewhere else where I've started or somebody has sent me something like somebody sent me this napkin on book paper that's really pretty I need to do something with it I've started these journaling cards um, that need to be finished things like this so they're all in here and I need to work on them I'm and I'm going to be doing a video on that um, at some point I wonder if this size would go in there. I don't like that on it though. So I'm just going to see if I have, yeah, see that would go. I need to put a tab on it though. I need to cover the back. So I think, do we have time to do that? Should I do it? Yeah. I'll do it real quick. another um, journal this one has green paper in it oh, look at the cover of it it's so pretty um, I am going to just glue this onto there this actually is the cover or the back cover of a journal that I took apart. And it had a pretty cover on it. So I kept pieces, I kept the cover and then cut it up into pieces for journaling cards. But the back of it has the, the name of the journal on it. So we don't want that. I hope that's straight <laughs> or straight enough. I feel like I made a mess out of that. So yeah, I was telling you, I have this basket of unfinished things. And every once in a while, if I feel like doing a little crafting, but either I don't have time for a big project or I don't, don't feel like it or don't know what I want to do I will just do a few bases and um, put them in this basket and then if I need like this a journaling card or something I can take the bases out of there and they're almost done they just need the finishing touches which is what I'm doing on this one. If you do this though, let that dry before you cut it because it works much better if it's dry. So I'm just doing this really quick to show you one of the things you can put in the pockets. I'm sure you know what you can put in the pockets and you have your own ideas, but we'll just do this one together. Now I would need to decorate this also, but I don't know.
I like that. But it's rather plain. I feel like it needs something else, but what? But what? Some book paper? I don't know. Pulled all my flowers out and didn't put them back in the envelopes. They're all scattered now. Um, something like that. It's kind of bland still. I think I need something... A label? Oh, I don't want to put too many labels on here because it just, um, I don't know. It just seems like, okay, I can't think of anything else, so I'll put a label on it. I kind of like this pink one. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay. We're going to do that, but I'm going to tear this. I know we're, the time is like, I'm going to lose you. <laughs> I'm almost done with this. Just hang in there till I finish this card and then, then we'll say goodbye because, um, I don't know why, just because. Just, just hang in there with me. We'll finish this up. And then once it's done, I'm going to pull out my journal and show you what it'll look like in a journal. Hang in there with me. We're almost done. I'm not sure what to call this little thing so it's not really gonna have a name it's just a flippy flappy envelope thingy that's what I'm calling it I hope you've enjoyed this long two-part uh, project and I do hope that you will make one of your own if you're not following along with me already. They really are fun to do. I don't know. I kind of want it like that. Um, yep. That's the ticket right there. Maybe the labels are just kind of a little finishing touch thing. It makes it look all done. There we go. But I'm not done yet because we need a tab. Um to come out here. What kind of a tab do I want to put on it? Do I want to put a tab or do I want to put fabric? I'm going to put fabric. So, let me see what I have right here that will go. Oh, I have this. I love this fabric. But the pattern on it, I think it's too big. So I have a little piece of it here. I'm going to just go ahead and use this little piece of it and let's see.
That needs to go right here. There we go. Oh, where'd this come from? Must have fell out of my fabric bag. Maybe I can use it. Okay, so that's actually not going to be the top. Okay, so let's just kind of go through it. Um, I still need to come up with something to put on there. So I will do that. Ooh, a little belly band right there. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, we're going to do make that a little belly band. I don't even need to do anything with it. It just works right there. Um, see, there's no end to it. <laughs> I'd have you here all day long working on this thing. Especially when I can't get the dried glue off the tip of my thing. All right, so we're going to make just a tiny little belly band. And I will find, I have a little ephemera, um, little like Victorian style ephemera that I have that I can put in there. That's kind of, I'm kind of excited about that. I like that there. So... Like, I could use, put like a little calling card or something in there. Oh, yeah. That'll, not this, because it's a little bit too big. But something like that would look good right there, right? I have things. I'll find something. Um, I don't know where they are. <laughs> but I'll find something. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to make a little tag to go in here and it'll um, have some little fringe on it to stick out. Maybe at the end of one of my other videos, I'll show you the complete, complete thing. Um, so <laughs> you got to watch my next videos, next few videos that I, not that I put up, but sometime in the future, I will show you this completed project. So we have this, and I also need to put something here, I think. I need to make something for the pocket to go in here. Let me just pull out one of these just as a as something to demonstrate with. Eh. Doesn't matter, Mary, just pick something. Because you're just demonstrating. I was trying to find a smaller tag or something. I don't have a small one. Why don't I have a small one? I don't know. Okay. So. I have this pocket here, which I'll put something smaller in here. Maybe this is a good size. I don't know. And then we have this up here. Oops, that's got to get... Wow. I'll use this glue on here. I don't know why that's coming up like that. My glue usually holds very, very well. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to check the whole thing now. All right, so we have that. We have this little pocket here. Over here we have this pocket here. Look at that. That's coming up too. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. My, none of my glue is staying. I'm very surprised at that.
because this glue is usually very good. Not, not this, this isn't what I used. I used my glue sticks. All right, so we have this little pocket here. We have this one here with this pretty journaling card in it. Journaling space here. I need to come up with something here. Maybe I'll put some journaling space here and decorate it and uh, cover that up. That's what I'm thinking because it doesn't really go with the rest of it. So maybe I'll do that. So we have a pocket here. Slip something in there. We have a pocket here. I think I need some washi tape or something there. That's coming up too. Look at that. Okay, do I need to buy new glue sticks? A different brand? These have always worked well for me. And I don't understand why this is happening like this. Did I not put enough on there? I don't know. I'm thinking this spot right here needs some washi tape. So I'll probably put washi tape right there. Um, I don't like how that looks like that. So pocket here, pocket here, and a pocket here. This one's going to have to fit snugly so that when you open it up, it doesn't fall out. I don't think it would fall out anyway, but just in case. Okay, I think that is our flippy, flappy envelope thing. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed um, crafting along with me. And I hope that you make your own flippy, floppy envelope thingy. I'm just going to grab my journal and see how it's going to look on a page. I have a big journal, so it's going to look... So it, it will fit on my pages. Again, when you make these, make them to fit on the page of your journal if you plan on putting it in your journal. Probably not going to go there. Probably not going to go there. I don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> Maybe it won't even go in this journal. I don't know. It might go somewhere else. But anyway, that's, that's how it looks. There we go. So, oh, I need to put something else here too. Maybe I'll put a button. Yep, a button's going there. And it'll be on the outside so it won't interfere. Okay, I gotta go because this video is like super long now and you're probably not even here watching it anymore. And I could keep going on and on and on and on. So I'm going to stop it and we will see you the next time. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Bye-bye.